Hello everybody, it's Jusil here. I skipped a chapter, I know, I am sorry, but this is gonna be my reaction to chapter 1070, last chapter of the year for One Piece. Last chapter, I was sick. I was, I had a fever and I really could not have uh, recorded my reaction and also I couldn't have waited to read it because I was sure I would get spoiled, so I just read it on my own. I feel bad, I think it's the first one that I have to skip since I started doing this. Maybe once I skipped and then I read two chapters together, but anyway, whatever. Uh, I'm sorry I skipped that one, but also I, <laughs> I'm i sure I missed so many things reading it on my own. I will blame the fever, even though it's not the fever's fault, it's just me forgetting things, but I had completely forgotten about the guy in the cover story, so when I read it I was like, who's this? Somebody new? Whatever. I didn't remember. Uh, do fell? Whatever. I mean, the guy with the Mads ship, apparently. Okay, good uh, stuff. Um, and then I was, I, I, I still don't know what to think about the devil fruit, um, reveal, theory, I, I mean, interesting, the thing that Vegapunk said, but I don't know, again, I will blame the fact that I was sick for a whole week and some, um, but yeah, it was, it was a very interesting chapter, and of course we had the fight, the beginning of the fight, I guess, with Luchi, I don't, I don't know if that's gonna, I don't really see it dragging, like, something bigger is gonna happen. Or they're gonna stop for some bigger reason. Because even though Luchi has also gotten stronger, I mean, Luffy is much, much stronger. So so I wonder, but I really want to jump to chapter uh, 1070 because I have friends downstairs and bless them. We just finished watching um, Glass Onion and I left them there because I really wanted to read One Piece and they understand, bless. So yeah, let me jump to the chapter and then I will leave again to go and... Uh, celebrate whatever we're just hanging out today but okay chapter 1070 last chapter of 2022 the strongest form of humanity okay <laughs> goodness me why are the eyebrows so high oh my god what is that german double sixes ah an emotional excursion volume 27 promising scientists brought together for the sake of mankind and the world is that stussy is that why she knows how old is Stussy then? Oh, I see. I mean, am I supposed to know who the others are? Like Vegapunk, of course, but the others? Wait. Oh my god. No. Wait. No, that's not Caesar. The, the horns? No. Wait. Does Caesar have horns? <laughs> Those horns? Yeah. We, yeah. Right? Doesn't he? Is that supposed to be? I'm, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I mean, is that judge? Oh God, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Wait, but okay, is this supposed to be the young versions of some people we know, and they are all ridiculous? It's like finding pictures of your your parents like forty years ago. Oh my God, I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong, and these are new people. But surely, oh my God. <laughs> they all look so ridiculous. So, so yes, okay, this makes me think that these are all people we know just looking absurd in their in their youth. Okay, and just make a punk with the with the Hawaiian shirt. Okay, so my phone is going off and I don't want that. Pa. Okay, let's see. That was a bit of a... Okay, <laughs> I threw it a bit too far. Okay, anyway. Uh, okay, people screaming. Oh, yeah, um... Luchi stabbed St. Tomato, well, I guess, yes, uh, through, through the chest. Hey, Axe Boy, Luffy, just not using people's names. Sorry, I didn't mean to distract you, and he's still looking goofy, but this guy, oh my god, idiot, I'm not that careless, I know this thing, says St. Tomato, and blocked it. Okay, I thought, I thought, okay. But, the, but also, the thing Luchi said, I mean, I don't know if it was just me, and it's still just me not realizing some stuff in that, um, that diagram, but even though... Even if he if he incapacitates Sentomaru, they're still gonna obey Vegapunk, the Seraphim. So, so what? Why would why would they why would they listen to you of all people? Like whatever. Anyway, let's keep reading. You were you're very stubborn. I need you to go unconscious. Given your superior position on the authority hierarchy, as long as you're conscious, we cannot control the Seraphim. But Vegapunk is right there. Are you dumb? What? I don't. Vegapunk is right there and he's the top right below the 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 five elders, no? Wasn't he? Let me let me see actually. Let me look at this. <laughs> Cause I thought. Wasn't it? Yeah, so 
what the hell? Anyway, sure, just because he's not there in person, like he's, I mean, he is, but he's not there. <sighs> like the, the five elders, they said the five elders doesn't count because it's through transponder's nail. And so if you are right there and you talk to them, it goes, that's so stupid. Never mind. You know what? Let's just have this. Okay. Um, and so Sentumaru tries to block him again. And Luffy goes, gum gum. Dawn whip. What is the dawn whip now? <laughs> I mean, he's so cute, Luffy. <laughs> Luffy looking so silly when he, this is serious, fuck me. <laughs> but, this is, and I think he sends him flying. He, he <laughs> Looking very silly, he sends him flying. Oh, I can't stop it. He's just twirling and look at his eyes, just going. <laughs> and then uh, I think Kaku or Stussy uh, shouts, Luchi, hurry, Luffy. If we want to save her, we need to take her to Vegapunk now. Uh, Atlas, I can't stop. I'm spinning too hard. <laughs> Silly. Luffy, where are you going? Oh, my God. He's spinning away. He's a, suddenly a Beyblade and he's spinning away. Evacuate to the factory. Everybody's still running away. So they have <laughs> Jimbe and Chopper. They have Bonnie and Atlas and they need to take them well i mean bonnie's fine she's just passed out but they need to take atlas to megapunk and or frankie i guess and luffy's spinning away and oh the the, the mihawk seraphim goes in s s hawk yes and then we have s shark using um um senior pink's power is, is he gonna anyway okay is he gonna explain that but uh kaku says the seraphim sure aren't holding back all this in fighting is only hurting our bottom line and Stussy says, and there are still only children. That's an ominous sign. But but that was that was her in the front, no? In the, the, the cover front story. So that's how she knows all she knows. That's interesting, but I wonder. Those powers, Vegapunk. This is Frankie. The powers, that little brat version of Jinbei had. Those were from the swim swimming fruit, right? That power belongs to my brother from another mother in the Don Quixote family, Senor Pink. My brother from another mother, relax. And the same fruit can't exist twice. That, that means he's dead. So you noticed. No, he's currently a prisoner in Impel Down. Huh? Does that mean you made the same devil fruit? Only Zoan type devil fruits can be produced artificially. Uh, okay. If we roll out Caesar's smile aberrations, which you should, he deserves to die. Vegapunk, Vegapunk speaking facts. Speaking facts right now. Yes, yes, please. Let's have this. Let's have this printed somewhere. Caesar deserved to die. Yes, agreed. Let's get rid of Caesar once and for all. Vegapunk agrees, please. Please, I hate Caesar so much. <laughs> Let's move on. Oh my goodness, though. Um, virtually all fruits of that type, even the special ones, can probably be recreated with vast amounts of money and time. Though I haven't confirmed if they can awaken. Well, that's a bit of a bitch. The fact that all Zoan type ever fruits can be reproduced. I tried everything I could think of with Logias, but they proved too difficult. And Frank is like, oh, same. For Paramethia types, however, I found that as long as you have the user's bloodline elements, you can synthesize and administer a special kind of blood to confer those powers to others. That is the liquid running through their arms. Green blood. You made your own blood? So because that's a Paramecia power, he can reproduce it that way. But, oh, oh my goodness. That's love, love, man. And that's, that's uh, Hancock, of course. People were, were wondering if Hancock, if, if uh, a snake is going to see Luffy and be overtaken by the fact that Hancock loves Luffy. I wonder. If if anything will happen like that, because so far we haven't seen any of the um, the seraphims act like their well the main characters that they were cloned from. But okay, but oh holy shit! Okay, they use this bloodline element, so they took they somehow took blood from. How did they? I mean, it's not great to think about this, but. Both, well, J Jinbei gave his blood to Luffy, and maybe at some point before it was taken, Hancock was a slave, so they could have taken her blood. How do they take blood from Mihawk? And uh, well, um, um, Kuma is the easiest, sadly, to think about. But Mihawk, the, the bloodline elements of Mihawk, how, how? But anyway, okay. 
that's okay so so he confirmed that the the people that these um they have these they've gotten these hearts but why though why did they give they randomly gave um uh s shark mr senior pink's powers i don't know but anyway okay the seraphim represent the highest echelon of science conceivable in all the history of this sea. They are the strongest form of humanity. And uh, uh, S. Bear says Ursa shock, and he sends out, uh, oh my god, an explosion basically, just okay, sending them. But these are the, the people from CP0, I think, right? She sends them flying. The strongest form of humanity, holy shit. And that's why they scrapped the seven warlords? Why did you have to make them, man? <laughs> Says Usopp, rightfully. So they were designed to be weapons for the Navy. Yes, to be a threat to us. This is well, first Sanji and then Robin. And everybody's screaming, of course, explosions going on. He's still sending Ron and Tomaru. Yeah, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> of course, because Luffy sent him flying, and there is the <laughs> the silhouette of, of Lucci with with the, the shawl as well in the wall because <laughs> yes of course it's very cartoonish okay but he's just like cracking his neck and okay coming back and he he looks at Santomaru points and then goes shave oh my goodness ah <laughs> and I think Luffy gets in the way becomes giant and he goes to swallow Lucci is that what he's doing or is he just laughing in his face? I'm not sure, but there's like a giant Luffy face going, nah! <laughs> Okay, holy shit. Straw hat! <laughs> he tries to eat him, okay! And then he zips away, Luffy zips away. <laughs> Luffy eats some concrete, because that's just as you do. And then he spits him back! I mean, he can fight however he wants now. He's literally unhinged, so there is no limits, okay? But Luffy fights back somehow, okay? And then... Oh, oh, he's touching the, the tube, which becomes elastic because Luffy touches it. I don't... Oh. <laughs> Not the... Not the glasses. Oh, he creates glasses out of thin air just to, <laughs> to put the glasses on like that and then just poof, shoots himself, basically. Is it himself, though? No, he's... Isn't he next to... It? I'm not sure. I mean, it's a gum gum rocket, but it, a dawn rocket. He's calling all his attacks dawn something now that he's Nika. That's interesting, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> That's nice, though. Gum gum dawn rocket, and it, it looks like he goes through Luchi the same way he went through Kaido. Like, it's not actually going through, but it is. Like that. That would be a knockout. Where is he getting so much force? He's like, ah, oh, this is gone. And he's laughing like an idiot, crying, laughing. I feel my mind slipping away from me. This is... Is this Luffy or, or Luchi? I think it's Luchi. It would be interesting if it was Luffy, but I think it's Luchi. Oh, this way, hurry. It, that's the vacuum rocket. Get on. That's, that's a snake saying to Chopper and Jimbe. Oh, thank you. You're a much nicer Hancock. <laughs> I... Insolence! I'm only following my orders, nothing more. And she's so cute now. Oh, launching in one minute. Hey, Luffy, hurry up! I mean, do, do, do they have? Are they like able to act like kids? They're not mindless. That's even more painful. I mean, if if they were just robots, it would be so much easier to deal with them. But if if they are clones, it's. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. In that case, almost definitely, that snake is going to have something for Luffy, and that's going to be cute. But, <laughs> okay. But she, she feels like Chopper a little bit. I, I, I don't want your your compliments. <laughs> okay. And, um, and okay, they run, they run to, the, to the, um, the vacuum rocket, which, okay, the name is very suspicious to me, but okay. Please refrain from rushing the vehicle while doors are closing. <laughs> Straw Hat, punk's in your hands now. Got it. Don't worry, we'll take him off this island. Now launching. Oh my god, they go in. They jump in. I think uh, Luffy manages to jump in. Ah, it's so fast! This is incredible! Uh -huh. Hey, where am I? Where's Vegapunk? Oh, Bonnie woke up. You woke up? We're on the vacuum rocket now. Huh? Who are you? It's just Luffy. We can explain why later. So Luffy, Luffy got consumed, I think. He's super old. 
are they? I mean, it is a rocket, isn't it? But the, the straw hearts are not with him. Where are they going? Where? I mean, I. Pfft. Okay, let me keep reading because, okay, I was just a little bit suspicious of the name. Um, the name uh, Vacuum Rocket, but no. Okay. So they're blasting off and they're. Okay. Fabrio phase to Labo phase travel time 32 seconds. But that's a lot. That's a lot. I thought it was very close. I mean, it's right above, but uh, 32 seconds is very long. <laughs> Inside the lab, destination reached. That was fast. All subsequent trips have been cancelled. Okay, of course, because so people wouldn't follow them. And okay, they got they got to where the other straw hats are. Okay, great. Rocket hypercapsule, it's called. Okay. Egghead lab of phase strengthen frontier dome. Danger, beware of intruders. Our research staff evacuate to Fabrio phase and lock down the factory. Okay, so uh, I think this is Vegapunk talking. Maybe Shaka, but anyway. You should be proud. As Vegapunk's bodyguard, you had a duty and you fulfilled, fulfilled it admirably. No, this is uh, the, the CP0 guys to Sentomaru. It's a shame it had to come to this. Sentomaru. I don't know if he's dead, but no, come on. I mean, he's just passed out, I would hope. Anyway, we're supposed to wait for the Navy. They're going to escape if you wait any longer. Luchi just with a little plaster. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. Fine and dandy. Okay. Are they really trying to kill you at the lab? You have the greatest brain in the world, right? That's a huge loss to the government. And what if you thought the greatest brain in the world was about to oppose you? Not that I intend to do any such thing. That's a good point. He'd be a thorn in my side. I him. <laughs> Don't do that. It was that, not me. So given those circumstances, it must be fate that brought an emperor's crew here. <laughs> You're gonna ride on her ship? What? He's that way, says Nami. <laughs> okay, savagery. That'd be amazing. Take a look at the General Frankie. Check out the sunny. Hey, at least take these shackles off. Show some respect. So uh, they're all, I, are they all together? I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, they are inside the lab. So I think. Uh, I don't. Uh, this is Luffy. Say wow. What is this place? Oh no, we must heal and repair Atlas at once. I appreciate it. Bunny, where are you going? But that's not... I don't think that's them. That's the probably Pythagoras and the other Vegapunk. So they're not all together? Uh, okay. I demand that Vegapunk put my father back to normal. If his response was to unleash swarms of bugs on me, then he must die. I don't think that was his fault. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's his island, so... But sure, okay. Okay, so we... Uh, so they're... They are in the same level now, anyway, I think. Yeah, yeah. We don't see them interact. But they're all together, I think. The Straw Hats. Bar, Zoro, and, and, and Brooke. Because they are on the sunny. I don't like this. Like, why are they separated? But anyway, okay. Um, block all the escape routes from the island. Yes, sir. Six more left, including the main body. Watch out, the defense system's a real humdinger. <laughs> Nothing escapes this island, not even a single ant. So, so apparently now they obey them, which I don't, I don't get because Vegapunk is right there. So, okay, but I guess you have to be in their presence to have the authority, and they are there. So, the Seraphims are with CP Zero. The four Seraphims are with uh, Stusikaku and Luchi, right? And there's the father, of course, from from the government. Okay, ooh. The straw. Oh, all right. He was coming. The straw hat crew is siding with Vegapunk. Then escape should seem easy for him, but he may find that events don't play out like he'd imagined. We proceed as planned. Send every battleship you can to Egghead, says Kizaru, who is going to Egghead as well. I don't. Mm, to be continued, that is the end of the chapter. Oh my goodness. They, they they did say that he was going, so of course he was bound to appear. I don't know if I was expecting to see him this chapter or like next chapter, but but CP0 is gonna be there. If an admiral arrives, they have to escape. Like I don't I don't think they're gonna stay there and fight, so they have to escape with Vegapunk. The Vegapunks, maybe? Maybe they're gonna keep a few of them. But if whoever they leave behind is gonna die. Or be whatever you want to call it. But no, they're going to die. Okay, the Vegapunks are are 
cyborgs, but let's let's consider them able to die. Like even even though Atlas is gonna get fixed, whichever Vegapunk stays behind, I think is gonna get annihilated by Kizaru or or and or CP0 and the Seraphims. So I don't know. But only only the main Vegapunk wanted to go with Luffy and the others, so is that what's gonna happen? They're gonna leave them and that's gonna be it. But I don't I don't think so. I feel like I mean also the escape thing. I don't know. I don't know, it's too it's too far fetched to far out that they would go to space because I think I think Vegapunk has the ability to go to space, but I don't see them going there right now. Like it's a thing that they're gonna maybe find out is possible if it is even true. But I don't really see them leaving leaving to go to space because that's not what they want. Even to escape the Admiral. So maybe it's gonna be mentioned and it's gonna be shown in a in a flashback or whatever. If it's true. Again, this is just my theory. But like with Vegapunk being able to basically teleport and the whole all the moon theories and the moon thing with, with NL and stuff. There is a a chance like the, the guys on the moon all having the Vegapunk mustache come on there has to be a connection but I don't think they're gonna go there I don't know but yeah sorry that was a bit of a tangent there but uh, but okay so <laughs> so obviously L L Luffy fighting now is so silly and I, I, I don't think he can be beaten with his powers he's just gonna keep having fun with anybody who challenges him because that's how he is but he cannot be beaten even though some people are meant to be stronger than him. Like, I don't know, all of the Admir Admirals together and stuff. He has unlimited powers because he's just he can just create whatever with the power of silliness and ridiculousness. So so he's going to find a way to get out of things. The thing the, they, they haven't said, they haven't mentioned anymore, is his lifespan. Is that even going to be affected again by this thing? Because technically, he wasn't supposed to live a long life after Gear 2, Gear 3. I can't remember which one it was that apparently depleted his lifespan every time he used it. And then, never talked about it again. So, I don't know, but okay. Well, that was cool. <laughs> and the, the cover story... I'm, I'm going to wait and see other people's reactions to tell me exactly who these lot are because I I mean I have I have those guesses but I don't want to <laughs> it's just it looks so silly like <laughs> like the young versions of some people that we know of right now but they're so ridiculous it's like okay it's like seeing yeah again pictures of your parents or your uncles like going on a concert 30 40 years ago but anyway okay that was good that was a good chapter to end the year and the next chapter is in two weeks so I am um, Probably not uh, engaging too much today because we're still gonna have some some more food <laughs> and celebrate. But uh, but yeah, and then I'm gonna go and watch other people's reactions in the following days and see what people think and what uh, what is actually going on that I might have missed. And then with chapter one thousand and seventy one, I will see you in two weeks. Bye bye.